Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice for radio. So today, I'm here to bring you a deck that I absolutely hate. Yeah, you know, you know that Durant I told you about the other day? The one that I really don't like. The one that is, as I refer to it, essentially a reprint of my very least favourite deck ever. And that's not hyperbole or exaggeration. I have literally made videos on this channel about the fact that it is, in fact, my actual bar none least favourite deck ever. But I did tell you that there was some hope. And that this Durant was a little bit more awkward. It's kind of a reprint of the other Durant. But we didn't have a single energy attack, it's a double energy attack, and maybe it wouldn't end up being good enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like it is. It's gone and taken down at least one tournament in Japan. And yes, I know that the smaller tournaments at the moment, but there are no bigger tournaments at the moment. There's a damn panic on. My daughter's two. Instead of saying pandemic, she says damn panic. And it is the cutest gosh darn thing I've ever heard in my life. And damn panic sounds like a much better word to describe what's happening than pandemic. So I'm kind of adopting it. And I'm not even a little bit sorry. So there we go. So anyway, right. We've got this Durant. What does it do? Well, it does what it did before. For each Durant you've got in play... You discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Simple as that. So if you can have four Durant out in play, you can discard the top four cards of your opponent's deck. Sound good? Well, yes. If you can get Durant out and you can keep Durant out, you are going to be getting rid of a lot of your opponent's cards very, very quickly indeed. It's super annoying. And it's going to work quite nicely. And essentially, you're trying to discard four cards on the top of your opponent's deck every turn. And your goal here is really just to make a deck that takes advantage of this strategy. So in terms of alternate attackers, we do actually have one. It is a Pokemon that we don't talk about very often. Because it is a Pokemon that before Durant got reprinted, I never ever saw popping up in any decks whatsoever. It's actually Shuckle. You see, there is a Shuckle around that turns out is actually pretty good at this whole milling thing. For those that may have forgotten, and I wouldn't blame you if you had, it is actually the Shuckle that came around in Vivid Voltage. But for one fighting energy, you flip a coin until you get Tails, and for each head, you discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Is it going to work all the time? No, obviously not. There are going to be plenty of games where you discard exactly zero cards because you flip tails and it stops. But there are going to be turns where you do discard one or two or three or four. The rules here essentially is just you double the bottom number. So the first time you flip, there's a one in two chance. And then there's a one in four chance of hitting two, a one in eight chance of hitting three, a one in 16 chance of hitting four, and so on and so forth. Although actually every time you reflip, You've got a new 1 in 2 probability, but let's not get too deep into that now. So it's unlikely you're going to be flipping 8 heads in a row and milling all your opponent's cards. And it, it's not a Shuckle deck, right? It's a Durant deck. We're playing 4 Durant and 2 Shuckle. Shuckle is here for those turns where, for whatever reason, you don't have a Durant ready to go. So you go for a Shuckle. Now, in terms of other Pokemon, we are very much just going support here. There are a couple copies of Zacian V, and we're not playing any Metal Energy. There will be no Brave Blade coming. This is very much just a case of you're playing it for Intrepid Sword, which draws three cards, and if any of them are Metal, you attach them to one of your Pokemon. What well, a Zacian. But they're not going to be Metal. It draws three cards and ends your turn. But you know what? Sometimes that will work. And I do have to spoil the surprise a little bit here and go slightly out of order. Because we are playing four copies of Lily's Pokédol. Lily's Pokédol is an item card that you play as a 30 HP Pokémon that doesn't give up a prize. So there are going to be turns where you basically just leave Lily's Pokédol in the active. Use Zacian to draw three cards. 
and your opponent will hopefully take a KO without a prize. I mean, hopefully they don't KO Lily's Pokedoll, but that's not terribly realistic. Hopefully they don't take a prize when they do so. We've then got one Mew to protect your bench, because the last thing you need is your opponent KOing multiple Durant in one go. That would not be good. And one copy of Giratina. This being the one that discards a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. It's good, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen. It's very good indeed. And it sees a bunch of play. Oh, also I should mention it's only your opponent's active. But if they're relying on special energy, this sounds fun. Now, in terms of energy, it's pretty much what you would expect. We've got four twin energy here so that we can actually pay Durant's cost. It's the only energy that will. And then we've got some fighting energy because that will play for Shuckle. And of course, the, the, the downside here is that essentially we have no recovery for twin energy. So you get four attacks with Durant. Or I should say you get four Durant. But they're very low HP. They're, they're going to be KO'd pretty easily. So essentially here, when you run out of Durant... That's when Shuckle has to carry you over the finish line. And the rest of the deck is really built for getting four Durant out and also frustrating your opponent. So in terms of Pokemon Search here, we've got four copies of Level Ball, which remember has been reprinted, which will search out your Durant or your Shuckle or your Mew. And we've got four copies of Quick Ball, which will search literally any of your Pokemon in your deck. You're only playing basic Pokemon. In terms of your supporter line, it is a very unusual supporter line because, honestly here, you're not playing a traditional kind of deck. Like, you, you cannot play Professor's Research and risk getting rid of a Twin Energy, a Durant, etc. So, what you're playing is things like Cynthia and Caitlyn, which draws you free cards while allowing you to recover a supporter. What supporter are you going to get? Might well be Team Yell Grunt, which puts an energy from your opponents, one of your Pokemon, one of their Pokemon, into their hand. If they don't have energy, they can't attack. It's one of the things the deck does. We saw Giratina. We've got one copy of Boss's Orders to drag something from the bench into the active. We don't want to go overboard here, because what you're trying to do is just strand something in the active. And it's not always going to work. So you know what? Meh. That'll do for now. We've then got two copies of Rosa. If you had a Pokemon KO the previous turn, search for a Pokemon, an energy, and a trainer card. And two copies of Bruno. That if you had a Pokemon KO the previous turn, you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw seven cards. Otherwise, you only draw four and it's not as good. And both Rosa and Bruno rely on you having a Pokemon KO the previous turn. But your attackers are Shuckle and Durant. And you're sometimes going to leave a Clefairy doll in the active. Suffice to say, you are going to have stuff KO'd most turns. And this is where it all gets kind of tricksy. I've already mentioned Giratina. I've already mentioned Team Yell Grunt. We've also got four copies of Crushing Hammer here. Flip a coin if heads discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Which is cool. And then we've got Fan of Waves. Now, Fan of Waves doesn't get rid of an energy... But it takes a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and puts it on the bottom of their deck. And they don't want it on the bottom of their deck. They want it attached to their Pokemon. That's why they attached it in the first place. We are going hard on the energy hate here because if you've got a Durant, well, if you've got four Durant out, then essentially what happens is every single turn your opponent doesn't get a KO you mill another four cards. And it's not just that milling four cards gets you closer to winning. It is that every time you mill four cards, your opponent has four fewer cards in their deck, which means they've got fewer options, which means they are going to miss more attacks, which means they are going to end up getting even harder and further behind. And it's going bad for them, all right, ladies and gentlemen. It's going bad. Now, we do see Cursed Shovel making an appearance here, which we don't see very often. When that is attached to a Pokemon that is KO'd, you mill the top two cards of your opponent's deck. You know you're going to lose these Durant, etc. So you know what? Might as well take two cards with them. Only works if KO'd by damage. 
We've got reset stamp. Your opponent shuffles a hand into their deck, draws a new hand equal to their remaining prizes. And obviously, if you can hit a reset stamp, especially with someone like a boss's orders, get rid of their energy late in the game where they've got one or two prizes remaining and they don't draw many cards, this is going to be the thing that lets you mill and finish out the game. Our stadium of choice is Power Plant. How could it be anything else? Power Plant here turns off abilities of GX Pokemon. So, it'll catch the Dene, but it won't catch Crobat. Is it perfect? No. No, it's not. But there are going to be enough Pokemon's abilities, things like Oracorio, etc., that it does catch, which is going to be nice. Although Oracorio is actually a terrible example, because that only works after a KO, and you're not KOing anything. Sorry. We've then got one copy of Ordinary Rod to recover Pokemon and energy. Obviously, having all of your Durant is a very big thing. And one copy of Lana's Fishing Rod, which will get back tool, well, one tool and one Pokemon, which is going to be a Durant and probably a Cursed Shovel, one would imagine, especially as it is the only tool in the entire deck. And then we've got a copy of Palpad. Palpad gets your supporter cards back into your deck to reuse them again, which sounds like the kind of thing you would want to do. I am still unconvinced as to whether this new style of Durant deck can be a powerhouse going forward in the metagame, but the fact that people are building what seem like very good lists that are taking down some of the smaller tournaments that are still going on fills me a little bit with dread because I don't want to play against Durant. Boo! Etc. But I want to know what you think, so let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.